Experts in California are predicting that gas, particularly gas peak and plants, but gas in general, will go extinct by 2033. Now, if you have a house that you're building or you have gas appliances, you may want to consider this. You may want to consider this data because it's going to be very expensive to purchase gas. You might even need to ship it in. California is replacing gas with solar and batteries at the fastest pace in its history. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. And this is really good to see. I know a lot of people think, um, you know, gas, it's better than coal. And I would agree it is, but it's still definitely not a good thing. And there's quite a few health, <laughs> health downsides to gas that people just don't talk about. Solar and batteries are rapidly forcing gas out of California's electricity mix. Fresh data shows, says the playbook, the progress playbook. Between January the 1st and August the 17th, 2025, in other words, for all of this year so far, solar generation increased 18% compared with the same period one year earlier. While output from the state's growing fleet of batteries surged by a staggering 63% in spite of the one that um, caught fire. And that's according to data collected by Stanford University professor Mark Z. Jacobson. Batteries charge up on cheap solar power during the day and now regularly discharge more than one, more than 10 gigawatt back into the grid during the evenings. The time of day that gas peaker plants historically have dominated and made tons of money for their owners. Gas peaker plants are very, very expensive. And a lot of Californians, not all of them, but a lot of them blame their high cost of electricity on renewable energy. When the truth is, usually they are paying more for electricity because they're using it between 5 and 10 p.m. in the evenings. And that's when gas peaker plants were supplying the majority of the electricity to the grid, yeah? When the sun goes down and there was no more renewables in place. What this means is that the amount of power being sent into the grid is enough. What this means is the amount of power being sent into the grid from the state's batteries alone actually meets more than one third of statewide demand at the highest peak demand times. In other words, when it's really hot and there's huge demand, more than one third of that power coming out of, well, of the grid is coming from batteries. As a result, output from the state's gas-fired power plants fell by 25% in one year, but it fell by 43% over the past two years. And experts say it's going to fall even further. All renewable technologies generated enough energy to cover 60% of California's electricity needs in the calendar year to August 17. That's a five percentage point increase in a year. Nuclear comprised around 9% of the mix and imports around 12%. So if we actually um, put nuclear and renewables together, they, they are nearly 70% of California's electricity mix. According to Jacobson, California is on track to be 100% powered by solar, wind, batteries, hydro, and geothermal by 2033. In other words, you've got about maybe seven years before you, you're not gonna have much, much, much gas supply, if any. You might even have to get your own in cylinders or something. I think this is great news. California, 100% renewable energy by 2033. Now, you might be thinking, what's this guy talking about? But Mark is from Stanford, and he's an exceptionally intelligent person. He made other predictions in the past, which have proven to be true. I think that the prediction he's making here is extremely likely to happen. Now, kudos to California. California and Texas are leading the way in the United States when it comes to renewable energy. And California is also leading the way when it comes to the sales of electric cars. Let me know your thoughts. Please share this video with someone who might need it. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye. 
California just debunked, completely debunked this myth that renewable energy does not work on a massive scale, on a, in a massive economy. This is still believed by even experts. Even experts in the electricity sector say, oh, it won't work because of blah, 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 blah. And California's gone ahead and said, oh, actually, you're completely full of shit because we just actually surpassed these numbers you said. It can't be surpassed. I don't know why this hasn't really been reported by mainstream news. It should have been. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a YouTube member, that'd be great. I'll put a link in the description below. And of course, the more people who support the channel, the more we can get this news out there that renewable energy is the solution. That electric cars in combination with renewables actually work on a massive scale. California just debunked a big myth about renewable energy. The state went a record 98 of 116 days providing up to 10 hours of electricity with renewables alone. So in a historic first, California powered by two thirds of clean energy became the largest economy in the world to achieve this milestone. Now, there's places around the world that use similar amounts of renewables because they have the resources already like massive rivers where they can produce huge amounts of hydropower. But California has done something that we've really never seen before on this scale. Governor Gavin Newsom announced California achieved an historic milestone. The state was powered by two-thirds clean energy in 2023, the latest year for which data is available. And that means California is the largest economy in the world to achieve this level of clean energy. The state released new data showing California's continued progress toward a clean energy future with 67% of the state's electricity sales completely coming from renewable energy. And since then, it's actually increased significantly. In 2024, California added a record-breaking 7,000 megawatts of clean capacity to the grid, representing the largest single-year increase in clean energy capacity added to the grid in state history. This new figure broke the previous record set in 2023 and 2022, marking a third consecutive year of unprecedented clean energy growth. But I think for me, what really stands out even more than that is for the first time ever, clean energy provided 100% of the state's power nearly every day this year for some part of of the day, 100% pretty much every day this year. Not since the Industrial Revolution have we seen this kind of rapid transformation. 